for here, and this is also sort of the process, look for uh, similar coefficients. Coefficients. Efficients. And what that means is I want something to match up. So for example, let's just talk about this uh, hypothetically. We have AX plus BY is equal to C. And then what I want is maybe something like negative AX plus DY is equal to E. I want something similar here. Ideally, I want the same number and a different sign. Because what I can then do is I can add the equations together and they're going to cancel each other out. Now, if I can't get this, like where they're the same number but different sign, I want something, I want numbers that play well together. And so I'll explain what that looks like as we kind of go through a series of examples. But ultimately, that is the goal, is to cancel out x or y so that way we can solve. And then we end up going back and solving for the other one. So let's take a look at some easy examples here. Okay, so for our first example, let's say we have x plus y equals 14 and x minus y equals negative 2. Now I classify this as a quote unquote easy example because we already have what I want. I have similar coefficients, but opposite signs. So what I can do is add these two equations together. And so I have 1x plus another x, which will give me 2x's. And then I have 1y plus negative 1y, which leaves me with 0y's. I'll write it in just for a placeholder right now. And then I add my numbers together, 14 plus negative 2 for 12. And so really what I'm looking at now is the equation 2x equals 12. And so from that I get x equals 6. Now I take my x equals 6 and I plug it back into either one of these equations and figure out what y has to be. So here I have x plus, oh sorry, not x, 6 plus y equals Sorry, 14, I jumped the gun there. In my head, I subtracted 6, and y equals 8. And so now I have the answer to that one. And so yeah, that's what I would classify as being an easy example. We have the same coefficients already, and I don't need to do anything with it. Really quickly, let me show you another example of this one. Uh, same idea where we're going to have similar coefficients, but I just want to show you a different look. So in this case, let's say we have negative 3x uh, plus 2y equals negative 21. And then we have 3x minus 7y is equal to 36. So again, we're going to take a look at this and we're going to think uh, it's a little bit different. The numbers are bigger. But it's still, quote unquote, an easy example because I have same coefficients, different signs. So when I add the equations together, these x's cancel out. I have zero x's. And then I have 2 plus negative 7 for negative 5y equals 15. And so the x is gone, and I just have a simple equation, negative 5y equals 15 y has to equal negative 3. Again, I plug this into either equation. What I like to do is pick the one with the smaller numbers, so I'll put it in there. Negative 3x plus 2 times negative 3 equals negative 21. So that's negative 3x minus 6 equals negative 21. Add 6 to both sides, and that will give me negative 3x is equal to negative 15 and so x will equal just regular old 3. Box it, walk away. So I have my x and y values. Alright, so now let's kick it up a notch. Let's do some quote-unquote medium examples here. 
So uh, the medium examples, they just make us do a little more work. So for the first one I have, let's take a look at y equals 6 minus x is one equation. And the other one is x minus y equals negative 18. Now, ideally, if I did, could pick my method, I'm not going to pick elimination for this. Elimination works when you have the x's and the y's on the same side like we have here in this equation. However, if I had to use elimination, there is an easy fix to this. And what that is, is to move the x over here on that top equation. So I'm going to add the x on both sides on that top equation. So I'll keep the bottom equation as is, but now I have x plus y equals 6. So again, I just had to bump something over, and now I'm back where I was earlier, where I can add the two equations together. I have 2x equals negative 12, x equals negative 6. I can plug that into either equation, and so let's see here, negative 6 plus y is equal to 6, and so add 6, y would have to be 12. And there we go. So um, that's a medium equation where I have to do a little bit of work. Now the other type, other version of this that we could possibly have some work for is where we have to multiply one of the equations by something. And so let's take a look at 5x plus y is equal to 23. 3x minus 2y is equal to 19. All right, so now I actually have to do some real work here because I don't have any matching coefficients. However, try to keep your life easy. There's a coefficient of 1 there. 1 plays well with anything. Also, these signs are different. So what I'm going to do is times my top equation by 2. And I'm going to distribute this 2 into every component there. And so I end up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it right underneath the second equation. 10x plus 2y equals 46. So that's the thing. I need to cook up an equation that has uh, similar coefficients. I've done that, and now I can add the two equations together. 13x, no y's, equals 19 plus 46, which is 65. Divide both sides by 13, and x would equal 5. So even though it looks nasty, we still end up with a pretty uh, simple uh, uh, answer, x equals 5. Again, plug it into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. I'll probably just go into this one right here. So 3 times 5 minus 2y equals 19. 19. Uh, so that's 15 minus 2y equals 19. So negative 2y equals 4. y equals negative 2. I have my x, I have my y, and I'm done. Finally, let's talk about a hard example. So the hard example is just where, it, it's, I mean, it's not like it's actually hard, hard. It's more that it's just a lot of work, okay? So let's look at something like 4x plus 5y equals 9, and 5x minus 6y equals negative 50. So again, what's true, what's quote unquote hard about this is that I have to crunch a lot of numbers. I need to do a lot more writing than I do in the other ones. So there are no coefficients that match up. So we have to make sure that we match up the x's. Like these matching up, that means absolutely nothing. So don't do anything with that. Gonna do that. All right, good. Now uh, I can pick my poison. I'm now my my thought process is I see that these have opposite signs, so I'm going to stick with the y's. And so what I need to do is now find a common multiple. So common multiple of those two numbers. 
and that's 30. And usually the, the easiest way to do it is just to multiply both equations by the other coefficient. So here, the top equation, I'm going to multiply by 6. The bottom equation, I multiply by 5. Now i got to caution you, take your time with the distribution. What's hard about it is staying organized. Right? The, the math isn't that hard. I mean, these are things you've done before you've gotten the system of equations. It's just, can you keep everything together? So here we have 24x plus 30y is equal to 54. And then we'll have 25x minus 30y, which is what we want. Notice how we now have same sign, or sorry, same coefficient, different sign, equals negative 250. Now we can add them together. The y's cancel each other out, and we have 49y, or sorry, x equals 54 minus 250, which is negative 196. Divide that by 49, and we have x equals negative 4. Plug in negative 4 to either equation. I'll go to the top one. So 4 times negative 4 plus 5y equals 9. So negative 16 plus 5y equals 9. 5y equals 25. Y equals 5. So it's the same process, the same procedure, just more and more work uh, for the quote-unquote hard examples. And for the hard examples, again, you need to match them up. Um, easy way is just to yeah, take these numbers and multiply like that um, to find that common multiple between either x's or y's. Now, one final thing uh, I want to talk about is this sort of some loose ends. So uh, that is watch out for special cases. Watch out for special cases. We can get all real numbers. We can get, uh, or sorry, not all real numbers. We can get infinite number of solutions, or we could also get no solution. So, for example, let's say we have x minus 4y equals 6, 2x minus 8y equals 3. We look at it, it looks like a normal, typical problem. We're thinking, okay, I gotta do that thing where I have to uh, maybe multiply something by 2. So I'll take this top one, I'll times you by 2, or make it negative 2. And so then I'll get negative 2x plus 8y equals 12. You then add the equations together, you have 0x plus 0y equals 15 which becomes 0 equals 15, you might run into a situation where the answer is no solution. All right, So uh, just keep that in mind as you're going through and using the elimination method. So that's pretty much everything you need to know. Good luck with your homework or practice, and let me know if you have any questions.